Autodesk 360 has many management tools in it. It's a great cloud-based tool that allows you to access many files from anywhere there's an internet connection. I'm going to go over some of the basics of it here, and so give you a good overview of what you can do with it. So you have your A360 drive, and most of this is actually pretty straightforward and easy to browse around in. At any time, you can go to your Home tab. When I click on here, it just kind of gives me an overview of what I've been doing lately. If I need to upload a document, I can do that right from here. Click on Upload Document. I can just drag and drop the file here, or if I pick Select File, it will open up a browser where I can go and find the file that I want to load, select it, and it will upload the file once I click on the Upload Now button. Click on the Home tab, and you can sort by today, this week, this month, etc. You can also go to specific dates. Click on the documents. I have a little fly out here, and this will show you some recent documents. If you just click on the documents, it brings up this little browser, and it shows you your files here. Now, you can do a lot of different things. You can create new folders. You can upload files here. You can show some hidden files, and it tells you about how much storage you're using and what you have available. I have 25 gigabytes because I'm using a pro version. You have a couple of different things that you can do here. You can view in detail view like I have here, or you can view in an icon mode. Now this is kind of cool because it tells you if it's a folder or not, and it gives you a quick preview of what's going on. If I select the box here, then I can start taking on some of these actions for that drawing. But if I hover over it, I have the little eyeglass button. If I click on that, it gives me a thumbnail view of what it looks like. You don't necessarily need that when you're in this thumbnail view, but when you're in the detail view, it comes in handy. And you can get to that just by hovering over this, clicking on the magnifying glass, and it will give you the same view. Now, other things that you can do inside here is make some actions. And in these actions here, you can copy it to an A360 project. This is where you download it. You can edit it. It'll open it right up in AutoCAD 360. You can share the file. You can move it, copy it, rename it. You can upload a new version. So maybe you've been working on it in AutoCAD and you don't have the automatic save and upload feature on. You can do that here. You can look at different versions. This will show you where they're at. And again, you can download them. You can revert to them. This is a really cool feature because clients will change their minds and they'll say, hey, let's go to the left. And okay, so you are. You're going to the left. Say, no, I want to go to the right. Okay, so now we're going to the right. I'd rather go back to the left. Well, okay, just go back to that old version and you're automatically there. And you still have a backup copy of that right version now that you're working on the left in case they change their mind yet again. So again, you can get to the actions here, select your items in the list. You can select all of them that way. And then you can copy everything, download everything, move everything, things like that. Categories is something that's pretty interesting that you can do. Let's say I'm going to pick everything here and I want to put them in a category. Think of category as sort of a tag or folder for your files. If you don't have one here, you can say create. I'm going to say all drawings. Click save, and now they're all in that category. Now you'll see here your list of your categories. You can create a new category here. And when I want to, I can add something to that category. Now if I left click and hold, I can drag and drop, and it will add that to the architecture category. So if I double click on one of these items here, it will only give me the drawings that are in that category. So it's kind of like creating folders. You can also say owned by me, shared by me, shared with me, shared publicly, or something from other applications. I have some from an older version of AutoCAD here that I can look at, or I can just look at all of them. I have quite a few saved in my account. So those are a lot of the basic features that you can see. And another one is with the collaborations. You'll see here on this cottage plan and elevation drawing that there's a little number one. If I click on them, I can see the comments that I have here that I've saved. Now I can reply back to this one. Of course, it's from myself. Just type it in, press enter, and it has a reply. I can make a new comment right here. And this is just another way to collaborate with other people. Autodesk 360 is a great tool for working with yourself and with other people.